Did you know that you can add two polynomials? Let's take a look at an example. 6x squared plus 3x plus 8 plus 5x squared plus 2x plus 9. Now, we can add these two polynomials by adding the like terms. 6x squared and 5x squared can be added. 3x and 2x can be added. And 8 and 9, the two constants, can be added. When we add 8 and 9, we have plus 17. 2x plus 3x is 5x. And 5x squared plus 6x squared is 11x squared. Now notice that all of the operations were positive. Because of that, we end up with positives here. However, problems where you add polynomials or subtract polynomials won't always be this straightforward. Let's take a look at another one. Here we have 4x squared plus 2y plus 9 plus 6x squared minus 3y minus 10. Again, let's identify the like terms. 4x squared and 6x squared are alike. We have 2y and negative 3y are alike. And we have 9, positive 9, and a negative 10. Notice that the sign goes with the number that follows it. Now let's combine our like terms. We'll start with the constants. So we have positive 9 and a negative 10, which gives me a negative 1. Negative 3y plus 2y leaves me with a negative y. And 6x squared plus 4x squared leaves me with 10x squared. Now, working horizontally like this across by matching up the like terms is one way to do this. You can also add or subtract polynomials by lining them up vertically, just like you would a normal addition or subtraction problem. Let's take a look at another one. Here's a problem that's been set up vertically. Notice that the like terms are right next to each other. We can circle them and take a look at them. Now here's the tricky part. The tricky part is that this subtraction has to apply to every term. So we can start with the constants at the end. We can say negative 9 minus 10. You see this has to get applied over here too. Negative 9 minus 10 is a negative 19. 5y minus 6y, but it's not minus 6y because, again, this has to get applied all the way over here, too. Double negatives become a positive. 5y plus 6y is 11y. Now we have negative 3x minus 5x becomes a negative 8x, and we can put the plus here from this, from the 5y and the 6y. And then we have 8x squared minus 2x squared, which is a 6 positive x squared. This is our solution. As long as you keep the terms connected and you add or subtract the like terms, then you will end up with an accurate answer.